celebrate the unveiling of our billboard for Ace of Diamonds, I'm here to introduce to you the face of Ace. I came here to support the owner of Ace of Diamonds who's unveiling the billboard of his new club in Vegas. My parents own the property that the building sits on, so I thought I would show my pretty face. But the face, or rather the naked, flat ass I'm looking at, belongs to that hoe, Masika. Bitch, is that Masika? Not only that, I was there when that rat took the pictures, and she never said a thing. If this bitch thinks I'm gonna let her face grace the entry of my family's property, then she must not know me at all. It's Masika Kalisha. <laughs> I stayed around and have a cocktail at the bar. I got to see all these fraud fake ass hoes in the same room. I ain't even seen Tierra since I moved out the apartment. And the fact that she's kicking it with Masika now, it's like these bitches deserve each other. Pop champagne! <laughs> so I'm gazing through the crowd, and whose face do I see other than that plastic cabbage patch Nicki Monono looking bitch? <laughs> Kinda glad that you're here though, so I can see the look on your face when you find out that my face is plastered all over mommy and daddy's building. Oh, pick your face up off the floor, sweetie. I see Hazel standing over there in all of her fraudness. And to be honest, I don't have two words to say to her. Besides, I'm here with Nikki, and this reunion between Molly's two girls should be way more interesting than anything that Hazel E's crater face ass has to say. Well, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. You look absolutely that was gorgeous. Cute. That was a surprise, bitch. Thank you for coming. <laughs> hello. So you guys had a little trick up your sleeve. When I walked in your photo shoot, you were doing it for my club? But that's my club. You know I'm the landlord. Your, your parents are the landlord. But I can get you off the billboard, you can't, too. No, you can't. You don't understand, understand I'm See, the here's boss. The thing. You're not the boss. I work no. for the club. You work daddy's credit card. Well, well, well. It looks like the backstabber Masika got more problems than just me. If they were here, they'll be the boss. Oh, well, I'm isn't the boss. it Miss Boomerang? I just threw her out and she came back. First of all, pause. You know I can't pass up an opportunity to go and mix things up. What up, TT? I haven't seen you since the move out. And what's crazy is like, word on the streets. It's some crazy bird out here calling you his boo. And I'm like, damn, like we might have had our issues, but I never thought we would like go behind each other on a Well, party. first of all, I'm not Burke's boo. Oh, so, no, like, I was like, TT could no way be doing that. Well, no, you that. actually said that's what Tierra's known for, so she could be doing it, but I hope she wouldn't. Actually, that's why, why don't you said. see your way out this conversation? Because I don't really see what this is. Well, why did you see your I way back see in the club after me I told and you Tierra had anything to do with you? Hold up, wait a minute. I want to know what the f you've been saying to this bitch about me. Right, because you're a bum bitch. You f everything in these streets. You're a sex addict. You're known to f everybody's man. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're an alcoholic. You're a drunk bitch. You need rehab. And, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. And really? Stuff. That's just the story. She's way. making half the <laughs> up. Which half? You know what? It's one thing to hear all the trash talking that Hazel did to Berg. They were in an argument and she let loose. I get that. But for this motherfucking bitch to run to Masika and Kiki about my news, that's crossing the line. I don't even know Masika. This is a person that I've lived with and I considered a fucking friend. Bitch, you must have lost your complete mind. You're making yourself look like a fool. I'm not f***ing Berg. I don't want to f*** Berg. What more do you want to hear? I believe in the code. You know rule number but one. But you believe you in the code, girl, you would have told me when you was Actually, rule, actually, that's not. If you would have never turned up on me in the house, I would have had no reason but to babe, move out. So don't talk about a code right now, because if you want to take it back one. to me moving the out the house, then you're taking it back to say, Tierra, we don't f*** with each other no more. So you're not his boo? I'm not his okay. boo. The problem okay. Okay. is Berg. You're and, mad about it. She don't want, I don't and, want, and okay, don't so want you. Shut the up, man. You watch your fing mouth. I had so. your back in the Ray J situation, T. You said he was frauding you out. You said you didn't fing me out. He is frauding me out. And Bert frauding me out, too. So why don't you understand that? Why do I get to have your back and you don't have mine? Straight up. Stop. Straight up, T. Why did what you the do it? What do you want to hear? Why did you do it? Because I like the record. And that's you. Good luck. So all my fraud ass fake ex friends want to join together against me? I don't need none of y'all hoes in my life. I'm out. So, huh? Good luck. Oh, bye. Seriously, where's the damn security? Watching Berg's harem explode was fun. I didn't even get to say everything I wanted to say to that hoe Masika, but I think Hazel was everything she could handle for one night. Never fear, though, I'll have my moment. Raggedy ass in this mother. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen. 
Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there, hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer!